don't you look at valuations? Because I know it from our uh, from talking and speaking with the stock guardians. They're all mostly obsessed with that fair share price bucket that we have on the stock card, and a lot of times people ping us on the live chat we have on the website, and they're like, "Oh, you just added this thing, or so and so added this stock to their." their portfolio with the, the valuation. Look at the fair share price. I had the same conversation with someone, one of our good followers on Twitter just yesterday about Walmart's valuation. We were talking about valuation. So tell us, I mean, it's, it's, it's a really good um, question to ask you why valuation doesn't matter when you look at stocks. So it, it takes a while to explain, but I'll try and condense it. And that is that when after I read this book, Anti-Fragile, there were some basic fundamental things about life that I just realized I had to accept. And once I did, I started realizing that I've learned how to accept this in investing. I still suck at accepting it as like a parent and a friend and a community member and a sports fan. But the most basic thing is, is that the future really is completely unknowable. And until I became an investor and started applying this, I didn't realize that I had assumed that I, I could control the future or, or, or control the price I paid today based on what's going to happen in the future. The, the basis of anti-fragility is, is that you can be right about what's going to happen tomorrow 99.9% .9 of the time. But that 0.1% of the time that you're wrong is going to matter a hundred thousand times more than the little bit that being right every other day has counted for. And so what I want to do is I want to own a stock. I want to actually, I want to own a company, not a stock. I want to own a company that's the scales are tipped in its favor for when that craziness hits. So I, the anti-fragile portfolio had actually done quite poorly, not poorly. It hadn't done as well in from like 2015 to basically 2020. It was beating the market by not by a ton. And then COVID hit. And all the decisions I made in those four years, which basically was like slightly beating the market, became worth it because this thing that nobody could have expected, nobody could have expected, go back to January 1st, 2020 and tell me you were planning for COVID. And if you were, you're a liar. And so, and it paid off. Um, and I don't know if that's what's gonna happen the next time, but valuation inherently assumes that you can, that you can assume what's gonna happen in the future. And you can 99% of the time, I'm betting on what's gonna happen that 1% of the time, and it requires patience, but it's worked out at least once for me now, so, so I'm, I'm in to testing it again to see how it works out.